Good afternoon, everybody. It's that time again. It's Wednesday noon, and Wednesday's traditionally a new book release day here at the uh, comic shops across the nation. I wonder if it's across the world. But anyways, uh, welcome to the catacombs. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, a wonderful week. And let's see, is this going on? Did it work? There we are. Yay, it's working. So we got a lot of stuff for you guys today including some uh, news. So let's get you to the news. Um, this Friday, we are launching our July 4th, 2022 promo. I'm sure you guys saw the video, Brian doing the total, uh, Adrian, uh, the whole nine yards. Probably one of the coolest videos we have done here. So round of applause to uh, Jimmy. Uh, a really great, great video, great way to advert. So, I want to show you guys some of the additions we will be making available Friday. For all you Sworn Club members, it's 9 a.m. General public, you get to dip in on these additions an hour later, which will be 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So let's start things off with right here. Boom. We have Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation Mad Mike Rookie Card Edition. So run you $25. There is a limited run of 50 serial number comics, uh, copies comics. Uh, so this is a limit of one per customer per household. Uh, again, our Wookiee card editions come with the information about the character, who they are, where they get their powers, and some other cool stuff, including first appearances, if you're ever interested in picking up the first appearances of these characters. So pick that up. That'll go live tomorrow, or what I'm talking about. Friday, 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 don't listen to me. Friday, Friday. It's gonna be one of them weeks, folks. Thank gosh for the 4th of July, three day weekend coming up, I need it. All right, next up, we are also gonna be offering, oh, look at this, Stephen Butler. We have this, the Lady Wolf Night, the Lady Wolf by Night Retro Edition. Again, $25, only 50 serial number copies, and there is a order limit of Dos per customer, per household, any duplicate orders will be canceled. We want to make sure everyone has an opportunity to get these lovely additions. Eric Hart, what's up, man? How are you today on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday afternoon? It's hot here. We're hoping for storms, but uh, who knows? It'll happen or it won't. All right, here we are with the great Dan Mendoza. This is Chaos Rules. There it is. <laughs> Fourth of July edition. Now this is um, 20, uh, $25. It has a limit of dose and there's 125 serial number copies. So scoop in, get them again, 10 a.m. Uh, for general public, Swan Club members, you get to dip in an hour before everyone else. That's right, new Dan Mendoza edition is available now. Jessica Hartman, great to see you. Happy early Fourth of July to you too. Hi. <laughs> You guys are great. You guys make this job worth it. Every day I got to do a live show. All right. And I have another beautiful one from Dan Mendoza. This is... Oops, that's the wrong one. Ha, 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 ha. This is Chaos Rules. This is the Naughty July 4th edition. Now this will run you $30. There's 125 serial number copies, so it's a limit of two per customer per household. Again, Dan uh, does some really great additions. There's always a sense of uh, sass and humor in his things. And again, he adds just the fun little stuff in the background. I especially love that she's pointing to the fireworks that's bursting above. So this will go live to uh, Friday, 9 a.m. Everyone else, 10 a.m. Because here's the general public swarm club members take advantage of it. All right, here we are with... Ooh, Damnation game time. Here we go. This is Damnation game. This is the fireworks edition. Pull this out so you don't get a nice glare. This is Ryan Kincaid. 125 serial number copies. A limit of two per customer per household. Ain't no catch. Coffin wants to make sure these editions stretch so everyone's got an opportunity to scoop them up. All right. And next up, we have the Damnation Game Naughty Fireworks Edition. Now, this one's limited to 150 serial number copies. It's a limited two per customer per household, and it'll cost you 
30 De Niro, and that's no relation to Robert. Okay, next up. This is a really cool medal. I'm glad we're uh, giving this edition the love it needs. This is Lady Death Dragon Wars, Naughty Stars and Stripes edition. It would be $110, limited to just 66 serial number copies, so this is very, very small print run. I have a feeling this will go quick. Sun K is the artist. It's a limit of one per customer per household. That's right, this beauty is going up live Friday, 9 a.m. for Swarm Club, 10 a.m. for the general public. But wait, we also have, ah, I already read those ones, hi. I work and I do things professionally on the show. <laughs> All right, everybody, and as usual, we have these beautiful 11 by 17 prints. They will run you $16 a piece, and there is also gonna be an amazing set price. Jimmy, if you throw up the uh, price of the uh, print set, please. Thank you. Um, thank you, Lady Death Universe. $16. Now, with prints, we only keep them up from the beginning of the promotion, so Friday from 9 a.m. till Monday at 5 p.m. is the only time you will be able to order these 11 by 17 prints. We only do them print to order, and we usually do an extra just to cover the loss and damages. So $16, these go live. 9 a.m. Friday. All right, and here's the naughty variant, Ryan Kincaid. Absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. It needs to be on your wall. $16. Get it? Get it? Because it's going to go. You got till Monday. Here is the very fun and amazingly patriotic Dan Mendoza edition. Again, $16. $16. Set price for all the prints we'll be offering, which I believe is eight, is $100 for the set. Thank you very much, Jimmy. All right, here is the naughty Dan Mendoza. Let me get my fingers in position. Those are, uh, I got to stretch them out there. Uh, $16. These go live Friday, 9 a.m. for Swarm Club. 10 a.m. general public. Also, Mad Mike, get this beautiful rookie card edition available Friday, $16, $16. This goes live on Friday, 9 a.m. for Swarm Club, 10 a.m. for the general public. Oh my Lord. And here we go. Lady Wolf by Night retro edition. This beautiful print will be live Friday, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. for the general public. What's 9 a.m. all special about? Swarm Club members. Sign up today. It's a totally worth it when we have these editions go live. So $16. Again, if you like all these prints, there'll be a set of eight for $100. All right, and last and definitely not least, we have the Sun K Naughty Stars and Stripes. This edition is $16. And again, this goes live Friday, 9 a.m. for the Swarm Club, 10 a.m., for the general public. Also, I dropped my mock-ups of these. Woo! All right, flip that hair back. All right, we're looking good tonight. We also have the Mad Mike Rookie Card Edition. These are $12, limited to 250 copies. Once they are gone, they are gone. $16. Hey, Rich, how are you doing today, man? Good to see you. Hope everything's going well at work. All right, next up, boom! Lady Death, or Lady, <laughs> Retro Lady Wolf Metallic Card. This goes live. It's going to be $12, limited to 66 serial number copies. It's going to go low, so you know they are going to fly out. Fly out, everybody. So that's everything that's going to go live on Friday. What's some other great news? Uh, yes, there's all those. There's the sets. Oh, my God, those Metallic Cards. Also, there's a new shirt alert. With this promotion, you can get a Lady Wolf uh, by Night t-shirt uh, for $22 to $23. The sizes are small to 5XL, and this is something you can get through our partners. Uh, so the folks that have been scooping up the other retro editions, Lady Wolf will also go live on Friday. Uh, Jimmy will post the link so you guys know where to go, and make sure you pick your sizes. All right. So I can't believe it, but in six weeks, we are launching our next Kickstarter for Lady Death. Diabolical Harvest number one will launch Wednesday, August 10th, 7 p.m. AZ time, whatever time that is on your time, but you guys know what to do. You guys know what to expect. And not only that, invite friends. Let's make this a big viewing party at home. 
with all your family and your friends and all you comic book lovers. Let's pimp this. This is the third part to World War Death. That's right, it's our year-long event that is spanning uh, all our titles for this year of 2022. So don't miss out on the third chapter of that event. Also, the Necronic Genesis stuff is coming together and getting ready to get shipped. Everything's getting QC'd, everything is looking great, and the warehouse crew is ready for you. Also, a big announcement, the La Muerta Primeval Last Chance Pop-Up Crypt is open now. Um, it will close on July 8th, which is Friday. That's 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for the news. Let's get on to the catacombs. What do we got here? Scott uh, Seacris. What's up, man? How are you? We been treating you good? Be honest. If not, just remember, we got three-day weekend coming up, so let's all have fun. All righty. I'm ready, and I'm proud to announce to you guys today my special guest. He's been hanging out with us here all week at HQ, Mr. Stephen Butler. Woo! Stephen Butler! How are you? How are you? I'm doing great. Make sure you look good on the camera. Uh, excellent. Nice all right. Back. So we've got uh, something we call the catacombs. Yes. And what we do in the catacombs is we go ahead and release vault items or the last of the items, real special items. So today, since we got you here today, I thought we'd do a real special one with some stuff from the vault that you did for us. Okay. Like this yeah. is a mock-up for um, Spider Death Edition. This is a mock-up. Usually we only do two to three of these, uh, usually are offered to sell. Wow. And this was a really great image. I absolutely loved when we did this one. Yeah. This is a lot That's of fun. Good. Again, another classic from the 70s. Uh, it is a representation of the first appearance of Spider-Woman, if I'm not mistaken. It is. It's nice. Good. So we got one available right now. This is a mock-up. Stephen Butler is my co-host today. All right. Speaking of the vault, I have dipped in. And are you guys ready? Oh, my goodness. I have here. That's deep in the vault. Monster Death and Stein Hollow Foil Editions, number four and number five from the vault. From the vault, they are available now. And I got the hiccups. That's embarrassing. Oh, this, this I really loved. Oh yeah. This is important. This is one of my favorite Golden Age ones you did. This is yeah. uh, Phantom Death Edition. Now, what's great about this thing is Phantom Lady, yes. old Golden Age character right. from Fox Comics. Fox Comics. Uh -huh. Now, Fox Comics also created uh, Plastic Man. Am I not mistaken? Mm -hmm. Or no? That was, that was quality. That was quality yeah. comics. Yeah, Fox Comics had Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle, yeah. that's it, the original Blue Beetle. Yeah, and that uh, Phantom Lady was uh, was not created by the, the main artist for Phantom Lady, and the artist that, that did this original uh, art for the for the original comic was done by the legendary Matt Baker, who was uh, the, 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 good, the good girl art uh, uh, artist of the 1940s. It was really beautiful. You guys really, really captured that. You guys really captured that. Oh, hey, guys, I believe this edition completely sold out, so I have here for you, this is the Death Surfer edition. Four, five, and six from the vault are open right now. Carmen, thank you for joining us today. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Um, uh, message me if everything uh, worked out for you okay today. Please let me know. I'm a little nervous. So we've got three, four, five, and six ready for you today here at the Catacombs. Awesome. And also continuing the tradition of the amazing Stephen Butler's. This is four, five, and six of the Death Urnals edition. Now you said Kirby was your big influence. Big time. So when Brian was like, "Hey, can we go ahead and uh, do some Kirby stuff?" Oh uh, yeah, I was right. I was right there for that. I, I was excited. And uh, this was prime. This was prime Kirby. The Eternals was prime Kirby for me. And so this was. It was not only a, a, a walk through mem memory lane for, for for comics, it was a walk down memory lane for me personally. So it was really cool. I remember picking that book off the, or off the rack when it was <laughs> 76 or whatever it was. See, that's one thing that's really cool is, is when we were doing the celebration of Jack Kirby, I was like, wow, there's so many great editions, mm. and this was just one of them. So, vault copies available. Now, this is another one of my favorite because I have at least five <laughs> copies of issue one of this um, in awesome. varying deg uh, degrees of uh, condition. But this 
I was really happy we uh, did this. This is Death Gun Warriors 4, 5, and 6. Now, these sold out when we offered them, so these are my last copies. So, if you want them, and you're a fan of the Shogun Warriors like I was as a kid in the, the 70s, 80s. I love those toys. Nice two-foot-tall yeah. PVC, and they shot missiles in their fists. Did you Coolest toy line. Did you have all of them? or I had Raydeen, Mazinger, Godzilla, and Rodan. Okay. My Rodan broke on a Friday 13th. Ah. My dad said it was a very graceful nosedive as it right. just glided to the ground and went push. <laughs> wow. I had memories, which was the red guy. Yeah. He wasn't even part of the, uh, the li they didn't get the license for that one. They only had Ray Dean and a few, and a few others. But, uh, and then I remember, was fun. they also had the die cast metal figures. Yeah. So those yeah, were really cool. Those. I know. I, they're rare. They're very rare. And God, are they pricey. Oh. Man, they're amazing. All right, here we are with, this is a beauty. This is Emerald Death Widow Hollow Edition 4 and 6 from the vault. Now, I also believe these are also all sold out, so these are my last two copies I am presenting to you. And not only that, it's worthy because we have our special guest, Stephen Butler. Awesome. You still enjoying yourself hanging out here? Oh, We're keeping it. you busy? I love it. I'm all drawing right. remark after remark after remark. <laughs> <laughs> we keep them busy here. Oh, well, here you go. That's cool. This is a good one. Daughter of Satanus, Hollow Foil Edition, and this is number four. Again, this is the last copy I have available, so yum yum, come get some, because it ain't gonna last. This is it, number four, that's all she wrote. Also, more classics. I have four, five, and six of Daughter of Satanus, the standard edition. So definitely uh, get those. A John Romita Senior Tribute. John Romita Senior. That was one guy I always wish to met. I met Romita Jr., really classy, oh, friendly yeah. guy. Love that guy. He gets it honest from his dad. Yeah, he yeah. is very honest. Yeah, yeah. And knowing that when you have to follow the footsteps of that man, sure. yeah, you, you better keep it in line. Big feet to follow. All right, get ready, people, because this edition flew off the shelves, and uh, we did two editions of it. But right now, I'm going to present to you Blasting Anthem Chamber of Coffins Black and White Edition. So not only this is a great reprint of EC Comics, uh, a lot of people from the 80s in the punk rock scene knew it from the Misfits album, Die, Die My Darling. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Misfits were doing homages back before they called them homages. They so knew it was cool. They knew it was cool, exactly. So, these are the last three black and white copies I have, so make sure you scoop them up because these things are hot. And I figured, well, I can't go black and white without presenting the colored edition, so four, five, and six of the colored edition are also available. And those are all the stuff I have for Stephen Vault. You know, Stephen, thank you very much for thank joining you. me today. Thank you for having and uh, guys, Stephen's gonna get back to work and I got some more stuff for you right here, including 4th of July Vault items. Here we go. Let's start it off with, this is the Stars and Stripes mock-up edition from last year. This is all ready for you. I got the one. It's beautiful. It is Sun K. What more could you ask for? And mock-ups come with blank pages inside. So I've been telling some people, get some sketches in here. Make it something beyond just a mock-up. Make it your own mock-up that's an art book, too. All right. Other beautiful additions I have. Thank you, Dakota, for finding these. We also have the last copies of Stars and Stripes and naughty Stars and Stripes. The copies we have are it. Once they are out, they are gone, unless they are vault copies. But wait, what could this be? Oh my gosh, how about, here's some uh, naughty Stars and Stripes still available as well. Last three. Oh, here we go, people, get ready. This is a classic. I just ran across it, I was surprised. This is Independence Naughty Edition, Bill McKay. This is low number three out of 150, so this is the very last copy I have, and it came to you direct from the vault. All right, keeping the tradition of 4th of July copies we made, this is Extinction Express, Liberty or Death Edition, and it is a BP copy. One BP, that's right. We're keeping it patriotic here on the show, so a lot of really cool additions. Uh, does the Stars and Stripe mock up have blank interior? It's blank interior. Um, pretty much 
A majority, I'd say 90 to 95 percent of mock-ups all have blank interiors. Uh, occasionally, some of the medals from a Kickstarter or actual book, but not all of them. So it's a very small percentage that um, do not have the blank pages. So I hope that answered your question. So yes, this one will have blank pages. All right. Here we are from the vault. This is Naughty Stars and Stripes, four, five, and six, from the vault. Got these ready to go, and I've also included the regular Stars and Stripes from the vault, four, five, six, and last but definitely never least, this is Naughty Firecracker Hollow Foil Mock-Up Edition. Bam! Look at that, all these beautiful editions live here on the catacombs. Let me just check to see if you guys have any questions. Jessica, uh, please let me word, uh, Lady Satanist Kickstarter. You'll just have to find out. If you want me to know, you want me to tell you? I can't tell you. All I know is get ready because it's going to be a big one. Uh, okay, took care of that. Who else do we have? Richard's watching. Everyone's watching. All right, everybody. I am hungry. And I got a lot of work to do to get uh, finished up for San Diego. So all you guys that are going to be uh, joining us in San Diego, I can't wait to meet you all. Hugs, high fives, fist bumps, and brews. Anyway, everybody, that's going to do it for me. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. And not only that, I'm approved by the Coffin Comics Authority. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Happy 4th of July. Everyone be safe. Everyone have fun and yeah, eat them corn dogs. <laughs>